How prepared are we for more days like this today? The city council is examining the mayor's response to last month's air quality crisis. CBS News' Jessica Moore live in our newsroom with more on that part of the story. Jessica? Well, Chris, the Committee on Oversight and Investigations wants to know what plans the Adams administration has in place for air quality emergencies, and more specifically, how effectively it warned New Yorkers about the dangers heading our way last month. As orange skies blanketed New York City in early June, many New Yorkers had no idea what was happening. Smoke from Canadian wildfires created dangerous conditions for people across the tri-state area. Outdoor events were canceled, people were once again wearing masks, and some wondered why they didn't know about this further in advance. In the weeks after the skies turned blue again, a spokesperson for Mayor Adams defended the city's response, saying, quote, while forecasting air quality is difficult to do and forecasts are only available 24 hours in advance, public messaging around potentially bad air quality began a week before the worst of the smoke. Today, the city council is probing how effective the city's advanced planning and response was and what can be done to improve that response next time. However, to many people, it appeared that our local executives and agency chiefs had little advice to offer on how to stay safe or aid to provide. We seem behind the curve, at least to some people. Uh, when the Yankee game happened the day before, we had reached levels of 200. Uh, and so they should have been more urgent and effective way to let people know how bad the air quality was at that time. When it is 200, it is dangerous and starting to be dangerous for members of the public not just those who have underlying, underlying conditions. Public advocate Jamani Williams says he is working with West Coast officials who regularly deal with wildfire related air quality issues. The committee is hoping to learn response techniques that can be implemented here next time. We'll have more on that coming up in the news at five. Live in the newsroom, Jessica Moore, CBS 2 News. Okay, Jessica, thank you. Stay with CBS 2 News as we continue to monitor the air quality alert. On our website, you can find resources and guidance from experts. Just go to CBSNewYork.com.